What is going on, everybody? It is Maxwell with the Virtual World Society podcast here in Long Beach, California, AWE 2024, with a legend of the industry who I am so honored to have met last night and sitting with me right now, Jonathan Waldron. Thank you so much for coming to talk That's to right, me. Go ahead. Thank you. <laughs> nice to be here. Absolutely. Yeah, great show. You were inducted, and congratulations to the XR Hall of Fame. How does it feel? <laughs> Feels old. <laughs> I'm only just starting here. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> like get going. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I yeah. know uh, it's, it's a great honor and it's uh, wonderful to be here and it's just a fantastic time for XR in general, for VR yeah. and AR as we used to call it. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, it's just really cool. Yeah. Very nice. What is it like uh, seeing AWE progress over the years and now the XR industry has increased to yeah. I think 6,000 here at yeah. AWE and so many different industries being integrated in XR. What is yeah. that like to see that progression? Well, it's, uh, it's staggering really. I think uh, to a certain extent it's only just getting going. Yeah. Uh, you know, these movements where typically it was a few tables and a few few people that knew each other already yeah. and now you know with the big corporates obviously and billions of dollars flying into it yeah. which is enjoyed for a while yeah. uh, it's really gaining momentum but yeah. um, you know something we touched on last night it, it's really and I guess this sounds like a, a well trodden path yeah. uh, AI is really the the, the, the driver here yeah. I mean let's face it We've been waiting 30 years for that technology to come around, and yeah. now finally it's deployed, creating the uh, the most valuable company in the world yeah. for chips that were really game chips. Yeah, <laughs> right? that's right. It's like forward, back, and propagation. Yeah. You know, MIMD, SIMD architectures. Uh, yeah. So, so yeah, no, it's fantastic. I mean, uh, it's uh, a tremendous industry to get into yeah. right now. I'm extremely optimistic. Yeah. That all the years of hard work in developing the core technologies is uh, finally yeah. going to have that booster that it needs, and the the planets are starting to align, so to speak, and yeah. communications, internet, bandwidth, all the requisite requirements to really put AR together. Yeah. Uh, a, as a medium, and so yeah, it, it's it's just amazing, and obviously that's reflected in the upsurge in uh, yeah. attendees and the industries that are here and you know i think this is going to be as big as uh you know major shows coming up yeah. like ces and uh mobile congress one day but yeah. not far away right <laughs> yeah. right yeah. it seems to get closer and closer this evolution th this turning point especially in ai because yeah. it's impressive now and for people who might not understand ai uh as much what what has that uh, that evolution been like? What has AI been around uh, like ChatGPT before OpenAI, yeah. or were they, were they the first to kind of start something that advanced? Well, you know, to a certain extent, it's the materialization of practical, usable mm. AI. You know, right yeah. now in terms of ChatGPT and you know verbal simulation of yeah. information and knowledge, yeah. uh, the press of a finger over and above search that we've had for years yeah. and obviously the customization of that into a variety of applications which are pertinent to business which yeah. is where the productivity and the return on the yield comes yeah. from uh, yeah so, so so I think generally it's been around there's case examples in isolation but it's the general deployment and availability uh, that has just absolutely powered this surge in uh, in investment that we're seeing, and obviously, latterly in applications, and yeah. so it's the uh, the opportunity for those applications where AR is a, a natural companion to AI. Yeah. Uh, you can visualize your agent, yeah. and your agent will become more personal and know everything and access everything, and all the things that we've seen in the movies. You know, has a very clear technical roadmap. Yeah to actually get deployed. So so I think it's that realization that the technology is now layering in and there yeah. ceases to become any form of roadblock to delivering that uh, application intelligence. Yeah. Whether it's in business, enterprise, you can ask 
your AI agent how to fix that 20 year old, 40 year old Otis lift yeah. where everybody's retired and you need to know how to get it done. Right. You know, to the farming, to every single walk of life, you're going to need access to AI and it will be through, you know, visual media and, and yeah. portable devices like AR glasses and obviously tagging and all the other aspects of AR that yeah. have uh, been largely very well prototyped, but now we need it deployed. We need it in everybody's hands yes. at affordable prices, and the affordability comes from mass production and mass deployment. The supply yeah. chain opens up, components get ridiculously priced as they are in your iPhone, yeah. and uh, now we can finally deploy. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm so enthusiastic this year. Yeah. Uh, this is the inflection point. You know, I've been doing this for 30 years. I know it doesn't sound long. It seems like yesterday. Yeah. Um, but uh, you know, having to invent everything from ground up, literally, yeah. from computer graphics to operating systems to all the tracking and everything else over the years, and having all that miniaturized now, but critically with the uh, capability of, of uh, going forward, that will invoke the investment that's needed and uh, final deployment, yeah. yeah. And it's incredible to see the work that you've done on the companies that you've started because really, and I said this last night and I'll say it again uh, now on a microphone, uh, you know, the initiatives and, and, and going through that painstaking process of, of especially pixelated virtual reality and <laughs> low frame rates and to see it advance so much, uh, I'm sure must be really amazing and, and feel good based on the work that you had done, you know, years ago. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I've been fortunate to be a participant. Yeah. Uh, you know, I think everybody has a dream. Everybody has a vision. It's it's uh, dreams are cheap, yeah. but at the same time, <laughs> highly compelling. Yeah. Uh, and so the experience of immersivity and, you know, being part of uh, cyberspace, so to speak, yeah. and, and interacting with cyber characters in real time has never, ever been depleted. Yeah. It's, it's still mind-blowingly compelling. Yeah. Uh, you know, doing that, not having to coordinate with human beings, but now with virtual characters that are truly intelligent yeah. is just unbelievable what's going to happen. Yeah. It's such an exciting time, I think, in technology. And uh, yeah, as I mentioned last night, I, I would not be an advocate yeah. necessarily of people coming into AR or VR even you know, 10 years ago. Yeah. Five years ago, maybe VR is starting to really take off and get critical mass, right. but now, you know, forget your computer science class, <laughs> get into yeah. AR. <laughs> this is the time to go. It's about to really get huge, right. I think, as an industry. So, so I'm tremendously enthusiastic, as you could tell. Yes, <laughs> yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Well, this industry is so lucky to have you and so yeah. lucky to have seen the work that you have done. And just thank you. And once again, congratulations on the induction into the XR Hall of Fame. Yeah. It is so well deserved. And I just appreciate your time today, just coming to you know sit and, and, and talk with me. And yeah. um, you know, once this is published, people will, even people outside of the XR industry will be able to see all of the massive success you've had in the industry and I think what's great about that is they'll be able to learn about yeah. it as well yeah. and you know what works well just the beginning yes just the beginning <laughs> keep absolutely <it> <laughs> keep it going and we're going to keep it going together yeah. and uh, I definitely want to have you on for a full length podcast right. too so we can do a deep dive because I just cool. I love talking to you all right Excellent. No Thank you so much. Thank you for Thank coming you. on the podcast. Once again, AWE Long Beach, California, 2024. Right. Come join us and build with us. Thank you.